wait, wait. There's my mic. Good God. Okay. Ah! And it's Hooters. I guess we should talk to him. I haven't seen this guy in a while. What's up? Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. We meet again, fairy child. Have my stone statues been of help? Well, it seems you may have the strength to change the fate of this land, just as I had expected. Hoot hoot. But the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await. Please watch over these Gorons around you. Their land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Hoot hoot. Without courage and determination, hoot, you will surely hoot collapse from the extreme hoot conditions. But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, then that's a whole nother story. Hoot hoot. So, will you proceed? Please say yes. Hoot hoot. You are a child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you do have enough strength to change the fate of this mountain after all. I shall take to the air, now flying toward that shrine across the way. So, follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances. Instead, let your feelings guide you, and let the true path shall open before you. Let the true path shall open before you. Did I just say that? But anyway, are you ready? Follow me. Oh, such a majestic voice. I'll follow you anywhere, Hooters. Even if you are leading me over a gigantic open gorge with just the feathers you pooped out. Eek! Linky Poo, we must be courageous. Do not use your bunny hood on this part. Just a fair warning, otherwise it's a disaster. <gasps> Woo hoot, I made it. Hoot hoot, I have certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now, enter the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest lies within. Use that item when returning from here. Hoot hoot. Hoot 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 <laughs> No, hooters. Just when we had our beautiful reunion. <laughs> All right, we must press on without him. His words of wisdom will linger with us forever. I will remember you. Will you remember me? Oh, we get a present! Yay! This is the item that he's talking about that we must use. Ah, it's the Linza Truth Dog. <laughs> ah, finally we get to see things that are invisible to the naked eye. Well, this isn't really a new item since we had it in Ocarina of Time, but we must remember it does drain magic, so magic is a big factor in this game now. Finally. And <gasps> what is that I hear? It's an invisible bitch. And you know what? I'm gonna be rebel and not use our fancy schmancy handy dandy. Uh, no! See, this is what I get for trying to be rebel. You die! <laughs> See, I don't need no Fancy little truth using our magic supply. We didn't have magic to go around in my day. Hmm. Ooh. Money, 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 money. <laughs> you know, speaking of magic, I was just thinking about this lately. Did anyone else have parents who didn't let them read Harry Potter or like watch films or stuff with magic in them because it was like, I don't know, look magic. Oh. <laughs> because they thought it would promote alternate religion or something, you know, because of witchcraft and everything. I don't know, I was just thinking about this, because Tyler said that his parents safeguarded him from things like that when he was younger, and my fiance's parents did that too, like they didn't ever let him read Harry Potter because they're really religious, and honestly, kids don't think like that. They don't see things with magic in them and think, oh, I'm gonna be a Wiccan when I grow up, this is awesome. No, kids do not think like that. Prude adults do. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with kids seeing things with magic and things like that. Like, they can use their imagination. That's fun. If you really think about it, all the, like, Disney movies and fairy tales, most of them have something to do with, like, magic and witchcraft. And nobody thinks that about them. Ah, speaking of magic, I'm going to use my lens of truth here to get across these blocks. I suck at this. Usually I almost always fall. So that's why I don't use my bunny hood. If you can do that without using or with using your bunny hood, then you rock. There is someone. What the hell? Watching your footsteps. Huh? Turn around. Look at me. Ah! <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Especially a big, plump, jolly-looking Goron ghost like this one. Can it be? Are you able to see me? 
If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. It's true, I can! Because magic! Dang, look at those paws, those, ugh, those big old mitts. Kind of scary. Alright, I'm going to put on my bunny hood. And honestly, you don't even need to use your magic because he has a shadow. And we can actually see his shadow before we even knew he was there. Like when Hooters was still there, you could see his shadow on the ground. So, yeah, this is a way just to conserve your magic. And I already know where he's going, so I could just head up there, but I'll stick around with him. Come on, ghosty! This sound that he makes when he's moving is actually pretty creepy. It reminds me of something. It's probably like a sound effect that they used in Ocarina of Time. What is that? Oh, I know, I know! It's um from Morpha in the Water Temple. That's the sound that he makes before we actually fight him. He's like going around in the water and everything. Crazy! Didn't think I'd actually recognize it. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna lead us down here, and I know this takes a while, but... Oh well, you, you gotta do what you gotta do! Look at those hands! Those big claws are scary! Well, how else do you think they'd be able to get their, uh, their rocks out of the walls like that? Because they have to eat rocks. <laughs> you thought I was gonna say, how do you think they get their rocks off? I know it! Ah! Link, why would you do such a thing? I don't have time for your shenanigans! Oh, I can't stay mad at you. You just look so cute in your little bunny hood in the snow. Like a cute little snow bunny. <laughs> Hardy horror. You get it? Because he's a bunny in the snow. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> the least original joke that I could ever make in this part of the game. I'm sure everybody who's played this has at least thought that. Okay, gotta follow him once more. Where are you going? <gasps> Is he floating away to the heavens? Not quite. We actually have to scale this wall. And as you can see with the Lens of Truth, there are some invisible rungs on said wall. And go, Link, go! Woohoo! And I know you're not supposed to be able to do this without the Lens of Truth, but I'm sure some people can. I'm just not that skilled. So, whoa, it was right on the edge there. If you get the least bit off, Link falls down to his death. Not really. He just goes, ooh, shoot, and it is very uncomfortable for him. <laughs> now, I know the way. Um, it's right, left, and then right when you come to these intersections. And to save magic power, I just like to turn the, uh, the lens of truth off and on, like so. Anybody else think it's weird that this, like at night, the crickets are chirping here? It's too cold for crickets. That doesn't make any sense, but I do like the sound of it. It's really calming. I like this place at night. I made it! Here I am! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I did it! Ah. Holy crap! Did you see how hard Link just threw that snowball? That was amazing! Super strength Link! Ah, but he wasn't strong enough to break that ice. Alright, let's follow the Goron into the cave. This isn't creepy at all. <gasps> Goron Graveyard. Man, this is the most beautiful graveyard I've seen. Since this isn't just a shrine for one person, I'm guessing that all these spikes are grave markers for where the dead Gorons are lying. Pretty creepy, but all these colors are beautiful just the same. Let's talk to this guy again. The Soaring One said the one who could see me would be arriving soon. It seems that it turned out to be true. I am Darmani the Third. The blood of proud Goron heroes runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. You mean you're not alive? Shock! Horror! Eek! But alas, I am now dead. I was fine until I marched off to Snowhead by myself, hoping that I could drive off a demon. It had been wreaking havoc on Goron Village. Then the blizzard at Snowhead blew me into the blue of How infuriating! As I am, I can only watch as Goron Village is slowly buried in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So, you can use magic? The Soaring One also told me that you were able to use it. I beg you, bring me back to life with your magic. If it is beyond your power, then I beg of you, heal my sorrows. Any way that you can do it will suffice. 
Well, you know what that means. Emphasis on the word heal. So, we must play our handy dandy song of heal. And it's Saria's song backwards. <laughs> That's how I always remember it. Is it working? What a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away to the song. Alright, good. Because it still looks like he's in pain. Honestly, I can see why he couldn't rest in peace when he died. Because he was on this mission to save his people. And now that he's dead, he's just still lingering on Earth. Or Termina, or wherever they are. Watching his people suffer while he can't do anything. And I'm sure that if there are ghosts on Earth, and I believe that there are because I've had experiences, this is probably why they're still here, because they have unfinished business just like this guy. But, you know, this is why Link is here. He's going to help him and set his soul free, which I believe is what the little sparklies are. And Link is going to take up his mission and save his people. So he can rest in peace now. Now, the weird thing I found about this mask is that it looks like a regular old <laughs> Goron. But when you put it on, that's not the case. I leave my un... Oh, wait. <clears throat> I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplished while living are carved on my grave. We got the second transformation mask! Yay, we got the Goron mask. The way that we got this mask is a lot more positive, I think, than how we got the Deku mask. Because although somebody had to die, essentially, they were already dead. And we just healed their soul to get the mask. So definitely better than how we got the Deku mask. Alright, as Darmani said... We should read his inscription on his tomb, but we can't do that unless we are a Goron, so let's try this guy out. TRANSFORM! <laughs> oh god, that looks so painful. So, so painful every single time he puts on a transformation mask. I feel so bad for Link. Honestly, I don't really have to read that because I already know what's on it. It just basically tells you your move. So here's the curl and the ground pound. Yeah! Gorons are like hedgehogs in a way because they curl in a ball and like Sonic they can curl in a ball and spin around which is awesome I can't really demonstrate this very well in here because there's not enough room but I can demonstrate the triple punch which is like the best thing ever here wait let me get a good angle here let me get a good view okay one two booty bounce oh yeah booty 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 rocking everywhere <laughs> oh my god that is the best move ever Whoever made that move up is just a pure genius. I'm sure it was Miyamoto, that crazy bastard. All right, before I actually exit out of here, we can grab this. Now, if you actually talk to the Goron that's standing outside, I believe he gives you a hint to actually do this. But we have now freed the hot spring water. Why would anyone bury someone on top of a hot spring? I mean, good thing we just healed Darmani's soul because we wouldn't want him floating around in his grave, his body rotting under there in the hot spring water. Disrespectful. All right, so we got the hot spring water. Use it before it cools. And I'm just gonna demonstrate this real quick. And remember, because remember that guy who was frozen outside? That doesn't look very comfortable. So let's just test it out on him. Oh no, no, you're not the great Darmani, are you? <laughs> then. Just whose grave was I making? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? See, he's, he mentioned something about it. <laughs> he's acting pretty calm for seeing a ghost. For seeing someone he just buried. Honestly, if I saw someone that I just buried, I would be shit in my pants right about then. But maybe he's too cold to be doing that. Oh, good! He's free! Oh, you're alright, brother. You were just frozen. <laughs> the great Armani. You hear this guy? The Great Darmani died long ago! Ah! A great star of hope appears. <laughs> Please do something about the blizzard. Yeah, no kidding. I'm sure these Gorons, like, don't they usually live in really hot environments? In the other games they did, anyway. And they're always in volcanoes. These poor people! Alright, so. I had to unfreeze that guy, but we're going to use this on somebody else real quick. Woo! Make sure not to jump in the water as Dormani or else you die! Because, you know, Gorons, they sink like a rock. But Who knew? Alright, here I go. I'm going to demonstrate the Goron Sonic Hedgehog roll. See, he even has spikes like Sonic. Conspiracy? I think so. <laughs> But I love the Goron roll. It's like the best thing ever. Oh no, I'm stuck. 
as you can see, you can easily break through those big snowballs and you can damage enemies. Just remember, it uses up your magic meter. All right, I'm not gonna actually use this on a person real quick. I'm just gonna melt this piece of ice because it actually reveals. It actually reveals <laughs> another spring. Ta-da! See now, if you actually wanna melt something in the village, or around this area, this is a lot closer and you don't have to actually go up on that big ledge again and climb that whole thing because that just takes way too freaking long. Now, since this is the first day, see how there is a green little tattle fairy? Ta-da! Somebody's frozen in that big gas snowball. Now, on the second and third days, this guy will be in different snowballs and he will be closer and closer to like where we just were. So, but on the first day, he's in this snowball, really close to Goron Village. Oh, goodness, look at this ancient ass guy. What was I doing? Ugh, it's already this late. I must hurry. Dude, how do you even talk with that giant lip? Get that fixed. Where are you even going? Oh, Josh Jepson? <sighs> Completely understandable. Run for your life! 